Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will try to learn how to set up the dynamic page titles in the Angular 18 standard standalone components using both a, both a root level title configuration and also a custom title strategy. Let's try to see it. So first of all, setting up the roots with the titles. In Angular, each route can have a title property which will be used to set the document's title in the browser. The title let's try to go it here yeah here each route can have a title property the title will show up in browser tabs and the browser history additionally you can dynamically resolve these titles using resolve function also i will try to show you that one here is an example where routes are defined and each one has a title so first one is the first process how we can do it is for example let's say that you are having a children let's say that uh, you will be having a first component and this for this first component if you want to add a title means simply it's a static title title is equal to here you can write it as an first component okay that's it so this is the first one so now if you try to see here at the top you will be able to see the title of this one the document title of this one has been changed to first component okay and the next one which i want to tell you is the resolve function so we can also use a promise resolve function so dynamically for setting the uh, what i want to say is for setting the title of this one so for dynamically setting of this one so we can also use the resolve function so how can i use this one is so i will try to show you at the top only here we can have let me close this one so here i can have in such a way that constant so resolved resolved child a title is equal to and here we will be having a resolve function so there is nothing but it will try to return a promise resolve promise so return promise promise dot resolve of and this one will return something like child a dynamic title that's it so this one is a resolve function so here you will be able to see it's a promise of type and this resolve title so wherever you want to use it you can use it title and here i can pass this one that's it so like this also you can pass it so resolve function you can pass it now if you try to go to the child a you will be able to see this one child a dynamic title so now the title also has been changed so this is how you can set dynamic title resolved using a resolve function and for the child b or the first components and something like that means you can use the uh, static title like this you can use a static title and this one is child a child b sorry so for child b you will be able to see it's a child b component and child a component like this you will be able to resolve this one so resolve here we have used the resolved child title right so what does it will do is this is a resolve function that dynamically resolves a title for the child a route in this case it simply results a resolved promise with the strong with the string sorry child a dynamic title and the routes configuration the routes array define three routes first component child a and child b the parent root has the title first component and the child a has a dynamically resolved title and a child b the one which is have a static title there is nothing but the child b component we are having it so this setup means that whenever you navigate to first component slash child a angular will automatically set the title that is nothing but dynamic title and for the first child b it will set the title as a child b component <coughs> So this is how you will be trying to resolve, uh, trying to add a title that is dynamic and also a static title. So the next one which I want to explain you is the customizing the page title format with the title strategy. So what is that one? Angular allows you to create custom title strategy services to modify the way the page titles are handled globally. For instance, let's say that you can append a common prefix like your application name to all the page titles. So generally we will be using this type of scenario if you want to add a common prefix or a suffix to a page title like uh, you can add your application name so like leela web dev you can add it at the starting or ending of the title so that it should be repeated for every title it should be added as a global thing common thing so how we can implement that one so here is an example of common title strategy that prefixes every page title with i will try to show you with my application and a <clears throat> vertical line i will try to show you so now let's try to see for this one what i need to, to create is i need to create a new file that is nothing but it's a service file so template page title strategy i will try to create it something like in the services template 
पेज टाइटिल स्ट्रैटी strategy dot ts file so the name can be whatever it may be so just i am trying to create it for you so here i will be using export class template page title strategy and it should extends the title strategy okay title strategy it should be imported from the router so now this should be injectable injectable and provided in root i will be using provided provided in sorry provided in root okay and now this one extends the title strategy means so we need to uh, import the title so here i will be using the constructor we need to inject the title sorry inject private title it is of type title so this title should be imported from the angular platform browser and we need to execute the constructor which is available in the parent class super and here we need to implement the override the update title so whenever you are trying to use it here so here you need to use the non abstract class does not implement inherited abstract member update title so we need to implement the abstract member update title that is only right update abstract member update title okay so let's try to implement the update title okay so here we will be getting the router snapshot so you can have a router state or router snapshot whatever it may be so normally we will use it as a router state so here what i will try to do so first let's try to get the title constant title first of all we will get the title this dot build title so this one you will be getting it from the title which should be imported from the angular platform so we will get the existing title so from the router state okay the existing page you will get the title and if the title is not equal to define so if the title is not equal to undefined okay so if it is not undefined means so that means if any title value is there means then we need to prefix it so here i will be setting that this dot title dot set title of and here i will be adding something like my application okay and here i will add a or symbol and i will be using the dollar of title that's it so whatever the title we are getting it now we have implemented this my application thing so now here what we have did it is template this class extends the angular title strategy and customizes that document title is set how the document title is set and we are having an update title this method is called whenever a route is activated so whenever a route is activated this method will be called and it constructs the title using the build title okay so build title or set which gets the title from the router configuration it will get the right title from the router configuration if then it then appends my application to the beginning of the title before setting it into the document so now the next step what we need to do it is we need to apply this custom title strategy globally so note that we have a custom title strategy now we need to apply it globally using the angular's provider system so with angular 18 the standalone components you can configure app wide providers in the application config so let's go to the app.config.ts file so here we are having now here i need to apply this provider so here i will be apply provide so title strategy okay we should be imported from the angular router and here you can use the class use class and here i can use the template page title strategy that's it so now we have imported this one also now whenever you are using it so here you will be able to see my application has been appended to the component so if you try to click on this one and if i try to click on this one see here we are able to see the component so this is how we will be implementing the my application so here application config means so this is the this is where you define the global application providers in angular 18 provide router route means so it will provides the routes where we defined earlier so we have used the provider type title strategy right this tells angular to use our custom template strategy for updating the document so now <clears throat> so this is how we will be implementing the code so this is how we will be implementing it So this approach ensures that each route title is dynamically updated with a common prefix making your application navigation experience more user friendly and identifiable. So if you want to add the title in the ng or in it something like that if you are getting it from http client or something like that means for example let's say that uh let's say that you are having a ng uh, here you will be having. So here what you need to do so here you can get something like uh, ng on in it you can use the ng on in it and you can use the http client or something like that this will return in uh, uh, what i want to say 
uh, observable so let's say that i have written a observable and here i will be writing something like off okay and here i can use something like uh, observable title so this let's assume that this is coming from http client let's assume and here what i can do it is so we can have an dot subscribe so i am trying to do the subscribe and here you will be having the subscribe and here i can use the next okay and i will be getting the title so i will be getting the title here so what i need to do it is we need to use the uh, we need to we, uh, we need to, we need to use the <coughs> title so we need to inject the title here i can use constant title sorry title is equal to inject of title so this should be imported from the angular platform browser so now when you got the title so here i can use this dot title dot set title you will be having the set title and i can set the title here directly that's it so now if you go to the child b if i click on the child b you will be able to see a observable title here so in ng on init if you are getting it from the http client or something like that if you want to set it means like this you need to set it so if you want to have a something around uh, uh what i want to tell what i want to tell is so if you want to have a prefix and all those things means you need to set the prefix only why because we need we are modifying that one in the ng on init why because already the router has been activated so that is the how we will be using so we need to use a config or something like that and we need to use the config thing. hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you